the president of Taiwan, Tsai Ing-wen, recently visited Central America and the United States, attracting widespread attention as tensions between China and Taiwan continue to rise. This visit is significant as it is the first known meeting between a Taiwanese president and a House Speaker on American territory since the U.S. broke off formal diplomatic relations with Taiwan in 1979. During her 10-day tour of Central America, President Tsai visited Guatemala and Belize, two of Taiwan's remaining diplomatic allies. In the U.S., President Tsai delivered a speech at the Hudson Institute, a conservative think tank, on March 30 before meeting with House Speaker Kevin McCarthy at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library in Southern California. President Tsai's meeting with House Speaker Kevin McCarthy was seen as a reassurance of the U.S.'s firm support for Taiwan, with President Tsai vowing to defend the peaceful status quo and thanking the U.S. for its support to Taiwan. However, China has warned against the meeting, calling it a provocation, and has threatened countermeasures. The visit to the U.S. comes at a time of growing tensions between China and Taiwan, as China seeks to assert its claim to Taiwan as its territory. China views Taiwan as a part of its territory, and has vowed to reunify the island with the mainland, by force if necessary. China has stepped up its military presence near Taiwan in recent years, with regular military exercises and the encroachment of Chinese aircraft into Taiwan's airspace. The U.S. has responded by increasing its military presence in the region, with regular freedom of navigation operations and joint military exercises with Taiwan. The U.S. has also increased its diplomatic support for Taiwan, with high-level visits and increased participation in international organizations. The meeting between President Tsai and House Speaker McCarthy is significant, because it signals U.S. support for Taiwan's democratic government, and its efforts to maintain its independence from China. However, it is also likely to anger China, which views any support for Taiwan as interference in its domestic affairs. Despite pressure from China, Taiwan has been able to maintain formal diplomatic relations with only 15 countries, and has been forced to rely on informal diplomatic channels and trade agreements to maintain its international presence. Taiwan has established itself as a democratic nation with a thriving economy and has gained widespread support from many countries, including the U.S. The U.S. has maintained a policy of strategic ambiguity towards Taiwan, meaning it does not explicitly recognize Taiwan as an independent nation, but also does not recognize China's claims over Taiwan. The Biden administration has affirmed its commitment to the Taiwan Relations Act, which provides for the U.S. to sell defensive weapons to Taiwan and maintain unofficial relations with the island. In recent years, the U.S. has increased its support for Taiwan, with the Trump administration approving a series of arms sales to the island. The U.S.-China relationship is already strained over issues such as trade, human rights, and China's assertive behavior in the South China Sea. Taiwan is just one of many issues that could potentially lead to conflict between the two superpowers. The meeting between President Tsai and House Speaker McCarthy highlights the growing support for Taiwan in the U.S., but also underscores the challenges facing Taiwan as it seeks to maintain its independence in the face of Chinese pressure. The U.S.-China relationship is likely to remain tense, and the situation in Taiwan will continue to be a key flashpoint in the region. As tensions between China and Taiwan continue to rise, the world will be closely watching to see how the situation develops. The outcome of this ongoing conflict will have significant implications for regional security and global politics. It remains to be seen how the US and its allies will respond to China's increasing aggression towards Taiwan, and whether a peaceful resolution to this long-standing issue can be reached. Thanks for watching. Please like share and subscribe our channel for more videos.